Hey everyone, Tammy Latrell here. I know it's been a long time. I know, I know, I know. But I have been working on a lot of things. For one, I have become a full-time entrepreneur. So I have jumped off the cliff and I'm building my plane on the way down. Um, it's been very interesting, a lot of long nights, a lot of crazy nights, but a lot of great opportunities have come my way since I have taken uh, the leap and um, as you know, or you may not know, I was working for Interactive One, Radio One for about eight and a half years in between time being a songwriter and a mother and you know juggling all of my publishing um, obligations and so forth. And so um, I'm no longer doing that now. I'm full time uh, an entrepreneur in the music and technology as well as marketing um, industry. So I have a lot of great uh, announcements that are going to be coming down in October, uh, but I wanted to take this time to say hello and to let you know that I have not forgotten about you guys and I appreciate you very much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you're watching me on IGTV, if you're watching me on Facebook and you like my brand page, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, your likes, subscriptions, follows does not go unnoticed and I appreciate you guys for hanging in there with me, but just... Pray for me because I'm trying to adjust to it all. So anyway, um, I'm not going to hold you long, but I did want to talk about the recent passing of the Music Modernization Act. Um, so last Tuesday, a week ago, the Music Modernization Act passed uh, in the Senate. And so um, this has been, you know, a huge monumental experience as well as um, um, a victory for songwriters and producers, engineers, music creators, and music lovers, uh, as well as legislation. Because uh, it's been four years and we have been rallying uh, myself along with the Recording Academy, which I'm a member of, um, as well as ASCAP and BMI. Um, I'm also a member of ASCAP. You know, all of these organizations have been rallying together um, to make sure that songwriters and producers, uh, music creators in general, are fairly paid. As you know, these digital service providers like Pandora and Spotify um, and, and Google Play and all of the other uh, digital service providers that you guys listen to are not fairly compensating songwriters. And what's happening is there are a lot of unclaimed royalties. Um, there are a lot of lives that are being affected by it. And also, we even have opportunities um, that we have proposed in the Music Modernization Act, which will also create protection for engineers um, and producers, uh, as well as some other things that I'm about to jump into. So, got to give a shout out to the Recording Academy. Uh, they have been doing a great job organizing our advocacy events. I'm a district advocate. And then also ASCAP. They were initially um, how I stepped into... Uh, advocacy with the Songwriter Equity Act uh, about four years ago, I think in 2004, 2014. So um, as I dove into everything that was going on, I'm like, oh my God, this issue is just growing and growing and growing and so many other issues. And so like I said, it's just now a big conglomerate. So that's what the Music Modernization Act is. Um, now, what does it mean for songwriters? What does it mean for artists? What does it mean for studio professionals? Well, for songwriters, it means that there is going to be uh, this is what has been proposed is to create a new and transparent collection entity called the Mechanical Licensing Collective, which will ensure that songwriters always get paid for mechanical licenses when digital services like Spotify and Pandora, your titles and um, you have Rhapsody and all these other streaming companies out there. Um, it, it's a transparent system that will require them to make sure that these licenses are being paid to the copyright holders. Uh, currently, there is not anything in place. So basically, they can do what they want. Um, in addition to that, um, <clears throat> there, the Music Modernization Act is also proposing to establish a fair compensation system for songwriters uh, that will be regulated by the government. So there'll be rates that will be um, set and those standard rates will be what is required to pay us per stream. Right now, if you've gone on my Instagram page, if you scroll down, there are some royalty rates that the the uh, streaming companies are paying to uh, songwriters, copyright holders, publishers. And if you notice, they are all different. So Spotify may be paying you one rate 
per stream, whereas Title may be paying, I think they're actually paying the most um, compared to the rest of the company. So it's just really interesting, but that goes to show that there's no regulation holding them accountable for what they pay you and I. So um, that is another um, law that uh, we are trying to get passed so that um, each songwriter and producer has fair compensation uh, once the government sets those rates across the board. Um, also for ASCAP and BMI, you know, ASCAP work on our behalf, BMI works on our behalf. I'm a member of ASCAP, but they work on our behalf to collect those um, performance royalties for us. And they also work to negotiate rates for licensing for television, commercial, and so forth. Um, a lot of times there may be a BMI writer who gets paid more or less substantially from a writer who is affiliated with ASCAP. And so the Music Modernization Act aims to be able to um, give a lot more transparency as well as um, opportunities for better negotiation rates that are more favorable uh, to songwriters and producers who are affiliated with these performing rights organizations such as BMI and ASCAP. Um, also, there is a pre-1972 loophole that is outdated that needs to be completely removed and updated and modernized so that those classic artists like your Smokey Robinsons and your Dion Warwick's, the Supreme, Stevie Wonder, that era of music um, so that they can actually get paid. Do you know that right now these songs are streaming on these platforms and they're not compensating the writers and artists for these particular uh, songs and um, it's under the Classics Act and it is a shame. They definitely should be getting paid. Um, they are classic artists, they're legends and um, you know sometimes we go back to those type of records to be able to reference and study their their craft and so we just can't allow for these streaming companies to constantly play this music and um, you know we be able to enjoy it however the people who actually created it are not being fairly paid so that is the classics act which is also a part of the music modernization modernization act um and it's to basically update that current outdated loophole um in addition to that um, to establish fair compensation for artists is also included so current artists that are streaming are not getting paid uh, fairly as well because there is no law regulating what these streaming companies need to pay. So another thing that I love particularly about the Music Modernization Act is that for the first time in history, um, it actually gives protection to producers and engineers um, who wouldn't or, you know, otherwise uh, usually have protection or be able to get compensated uh, for the contributions that they make on you know, helping us as songwriters, producers, and artists sound good. Um, engineers, y'all know I love a good engineer. I shout them out anytime I have a great session on my social media. And the reason why is because, you know, it ends with them, you know, like, it's not just like from a vocal standpoint, but even just mixing the music and the stems and making sure that things are actually mixed the proper way and then going over to mastering before it even is distributed. The engineers to me are the most important and vital part of your creation after you have, you know, laid the foundation and add, added your lyrics and, and, and combined your harmonies and your, your, your arrangements on top of the music. So engineers to me deserve this. I'm so happy that they have put the AMP Act, which is what it's called, um, as a part of the Music Modernization Act. And um, yeah, I think it makes sense and I think it's fair. I mean in a nutshell that's pretty much it like i said this is just the short uh version of what the music modernization act covers but as you can see there are tons of benefits for us as creators and songwriters and musicians and producers that i think makes sense for us to have this bill has to pass now what happens now it's actually left the senate it's been approved there now it actually has to go to the house of representatives they're going to review it review everything that was submitted reconcile it, get it all looking good and prepared to go over to the president, which will then sign off on it as early as uh, next week. Um, we know that the midterm elections are coming up, so how soon this is going to happen, we're having our fingers crossed for it. It's not going to happen overnight. And so, I mean, that's realistic, right? But the overall goal was that we our voices were heard um and you know we took a stand for our rights and so um it's it's a huge 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 victory for us as creators so 
that's pretty much it. Um, that is the Music Modernization Act. And um, I hope that it brings a lot more clarity to you um, who are all watching and, and for those who really just didn't have an understanding of what it was. So if you hear anybody talking about the Music Modernization Act now, as a songwriter, as a producer, you can say, oh, I know what that is. As an artist, you can say, oh, I'm familiar with that. Tammy Latrell told me. She explained it on her page. And so um, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. That is the short version of the Music Modernization Act. So for those of you who are watching this and you would like to get a more extensive breakdown of the Music Modernization Act bill by bill, what you can do is click on the link below in the description and it will be an, a link there that will take you over to my website. There is a breakdown that I've compiled. It was created by Dina Lapote of Lapote Law PC and uh, Songwriters of North America and it breaks down the Music Modernization Act line by line um you can actually go through it and see along with other issues um that were being considered um in the house like the amp act the classics act which i already talked about in the fair play fair pay act so um definitely check that link out it has literally everything in detail that um we would spend probably three hours covering so <laughs> and um Make sure that you have subscribed to my YouTube channel and also tap the bell below so that you can be notified anytime I update um, my page with any videos um, and content. Also, follow me on social media at Tammy Latrell, T-A-M-I-L-A-T-R-E-L-L. -L. And you can also go to my website, TammyLatrell.com, if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. And I also have information on if you are trying to get your songs published and you need assistance in that area. I have a staff that will be able to assist you with that um, also. So I think that's it for me. Just make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys and talk to you shortly once I upload another video. I'm trying to get back to doing my Wednesdays for Workshop Wednesdays. So we're going to put this one up today. It's Wednesday if you're watching this and um, next week I will be releasing another video as well. So I will talk to you guys soon uh, and keep it locked. Keep creating. I'm counting on you. Alrighty. Bye.